Hello and welcome back to another episode of the Chicago White Sox March to October. We're hopping straight into the first game today. We're going to be down a run here against the A's in the eighth. So we got a little bit of a comeback to manufacture here, but we got a runner on. Trey Turner's up to the plate here. We got two full innings to hopefully only have to get, well, at least one run, but preferably two or more. And that's a great start for Turner. That won't be two. He's got too much speed. Yeah, the second I pressed to lead off with Turner, he didn't even actually lead off. It was just the second I pressed for him to lead off. They're trying to pick him off. You can't steal. There it is again. He didn't even lead off yet. And they, it was literally the instant I pressed L1. You cannot steal against the CPU on Legend. Oh, and then I'm popping it up. That slider stayed so high up in the zone and then jam this dude's got a he had a tough release whoa wait why did he throw it to second okay all right still some life here why i don't i just don't get why <laughs> why the decision was to throw it to second there you only needed one out you don't want to give eloy a chance to do something he's already got a homer today actually that reminds me i didn't even look at what had happened to this point we already know eloy has a homer couple doubles collins drove in a run not much offense severino pitched a pretty decent game didn't really strike anyone out though and jose ruiz got some work oh and that's right the a's have Degrom now and he was who pitched for them he got the start it would have been fun to face him oh my god this guy's this guy's wind up is so tough mixed with his i think that's got to be outlier for the sinker to get up to 97 and then he got me with the slider all right we're gonna go to graveman here okay that's a perfect start it's okay we'll just get him grounding into two right all right, curveball worked there. Nice. We'll take the strike out there, keep him at first. We'll turn two this time. Oh my god, really? That was a perfect pitch. What do I go to now? Three, two. Ooh, I did not mean to have it end up that high in the zone, but we're good. I was pitching to contact, and he made weak contact. Again, a pitch not where I wanted it to end up, but it's a weak fly ball. Robert's there, and this is it. Bottom of the ninth. Gotta do it here, and we have Shohei do up this inning. Oh, he's, he's actually leading off. I was mixed up. Oh, and right away. Come on. Oh, that's not even... Look at that swing. He hung a curveball on the first pitch. I didn't even really miss it. TA, that felt good. We got a lot of that one. That one is gone. I'm surprised that wasn't a no-doubter. We're not going to lose to the A's today. Tim Anderson's going to make sure of it. He's having his most power season he's ever had. He's already had 15 home runs. Bottom of the ninth. That is a clutch home run. And now we have Sheets up against a righty. Oh, I thought I was all over that. I'm more shocked about the very early. That just, that sucks that the combination of very early and not even touching the inner PCI results in a ball that stayed in play. Oh, I was out in front of it. I was ready for that pitch and I was too ready for it. I was ready for outlier or something. We're going to have to go to extras now, but at least we didn't lose yet. I guess I'll try and get another inning out of Graveman. Oh, nice. We got him popping up to the catcher. All right, we'll take it. Graveman, after that one strikeout last inning, does not have the strikeout pitch working today, though. All right, TA. I think we got that. 22 speed. That's exactly what we needed. A scoreless 10th. Now let's walk this one off before it gets too late. They're sticking with the guy that blew the save. Interesting. Oh, man, I got to wait back on that cutter. He is throwing that so often. Oh, 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 Zach Collins, I went up and got it. I, I was instinctively, the first noise I made, I think I was disappointed because I chased what would have been ball four. But it's a good thing I did. Zach Collins coming in the clutch again. Feels like all he does is hit clutch homers for me. He, that was only his sixth on the year, and I swear he's had at least one or two more already. 
First at bat in the 10th, I really, I, I think I went down 0-2, brought it back to 3-2, and I was ready to take the walk, and I was upset that I swung at that pitch, because it would have been ball four. We're going to get a lot of momentum from that, too, because we came from behind. It's a good thing to have when you're already 45-11 and 11 like we are. We might have an easy path to the greatest season of all time. Look at that. Look at all that momentum. That's almost full right there. How long are we going to be able to ride this? Sweep the A's? Come on. Let's not. What? What is that? What is that? Why do we got to lose a series to the other Sox? And what do we got here? We've got some trades and they actually, well, the only things I have on the board are prospects, whether it's pitching or position players. And I was going to say for a second, they're finally offering prospects, but he's 27. He's not really a prospect anymore. He hasn't been good yet. This so far is his worst year and he's not even a starter this year. He lost the starter job. Yeah, no, I don't think this this is worth it, especially with your mean in the trade, who's having a really good season for us. What other trade do we have from the Braves? William Contreras? Wow, okay, that's actually kind of funny because I remember when we were looking at the, the Braves team, I said something about how the Braves barely use him. He has two games. He's gotten into two games. He's had seven at-bats. And right before I started recording, I put him on the, the players to target screen, and then I rethought it and I took him off the players to target screen and they still are offering him. See, and that's the thing. I just, I don't know. I don't know if I want to get him for this season. Like this would be a good option for the future, but I don't want it to ruin the good that's been going on this season. Like I, I think our catcher situation is really working well. I mean, we just saw Zach Collins walk it off. He's having a really good year. And then we've already looked at your mean and he starts against lefties and he's He's killing it. He's going crazy. So I don't want to ruin that. I don't want to add a third catcher to the mid, or I guess a fourth catcher, kind of, because of Kiner Falefa. I don't know if he ever catches. Let's see what the Dodgers have for us. James Outman for like nothing. Ooh. This might be a move because I would assume the CPU would know what they're doing and they would they would get rid of Angle for us, send him down, and Outman would just be our new bench outfield guy. Yeah, I don't know because he's, I mean, he's a little slower and a little worse in the field, but Angle's 33. He's six years older, so Angle's just going to keep going down while Outman's going to keep going up, and Outman has a B potential, so he will keep going up. The hitting is pretty comparable. I mean, the fielding is pretty comparable. He's a little slower. That's probably the biggest difference. 90 speed for Angle, and I think Outman had 82, but that's not like, that's not crazy. They really are like the same hitting. It's just Outman's a lefty. I might do this trade. This seems like a decent one because yeah, we can just get like a younger version of Adam Angle that's not going to be regressing because Angle's already lost in overall this year. He's, he's having his worst year with us so far. Those numbers, not like his numbers at the plate or ever impressive but this year it's a special kind of bad and we know that the cpu likes to use him as a dh a lot when shohei's pitching i think i might make this trade because yeah who cares if we get rid of willie calhoun just one of those automatically signed guys who cares if we get rid of jason billis billis 27 years old only a c and he's not even a 70 yet yeah i think this is a steal so i'm gonna i'm actually gonna accept this i wasn't expecting a trade like this to pop up but this kind of seems perfect for us so yeah let's go ahead and accept this one i like it we'll add james outman and hope we gotta actually that's the other thing we gotta hope the cpu actually knows what to do with them it's very simple game just send down angle and keep outman it's all we need and i'm guessing this will be a player lock with our new guy it's not going to be an attribute boost, though. I didn't even, actually, I didn't even take into consideration how he's actually played this year. They didn't get rid of Angle. So what do we do? Wait, who was sent down? I can't tell. Because they just put him in as DH, and we obviously don't want that. So Shohei's going to be back. Did they really send down Kiner Falefa? That is who got sent down. Come on, game. It's not that difficult. That's just, that's still one of the things that's frustrating about March to October. Like, I, I get it. I get why they do it. It's supposed to be this whole streamlined experience. But like in a situation like that where somebody's getting sent down, let me have control. Because why would it make sense to keep a guy batting 210 with a 
on base under 300. OPS at 627 over a guy who off the bench is batting 400 and slugging almost 600. He's got an OPS over a thousand off the bench and you sent him down. I guess now we just hope for one of those call up things to pop up for Kiner Falefa and then we do get to pick who gets who gets sent down from that. So for now we're just gonna have to deal with our team like this. All right, let's get into this James Outman player lock here. This could be nice. I still I still went into the lineups and completely forgot to look at the kind of season he's having. 261 average on base isn't very good though for that average. It looks like he was starting. Yeah, not not good at the plate, but we we knew that going in. He's here for his fielding and his speed and if we can get him a nice little player boost here in a player lock situation, that would just be that much better. All right, we got to go lefty lefty which is unfortunate now oh, they don't let me hold up come on give james some help up there oh and they pitched out i struck out on a pit or not pitch out slide step that's the word i'm looking for that couldn't have gone much worse all right next to bed here we have a three nothing lead Oh, really? I struck out on that? <laughs> Late on 93? Last game, my problem was being early on 93. Hey, I didn't strike out. There we go. That's a win. I don't know. We're going to need to do something pretty big here. And we have another lefty that's even tougher lefty lefty. All right. Well, what do we got here? Is that going to drop in? All right. We got something. I don't know if going one for four with a weak single is going to be enough to earn a plus, but at least we have something. Actually, if they would give me a chance to steal, that might get us a little bit extra, but no, we're just going to hit into a double play. Yeah, that's going to do it for our player lock. We hang on to the win. Yeah, we didn't get anything. One hit and little impact. Fair enough. I wasn't expecting much out of him. He's not here for his hitting, like I said. All right, well, we can move on from that. We got a little bit of momentum from still winning the game. Did it actually add anything? It didn't look like it added anything. All right, let's take care of the Yankees here. Can we get a four game sweep? Four game sweep, nice. Colorado, okay, we lose to them. And really a fast track for Dubon? Oh wait, actually no, this could be perfect. I mean, maybe not perfect, but uh, this could be a way to get angled down. It wouldn't be getting Kiner Falefa back up, which is what I'd want. But if we can have a good performance with Dubon, another one of those random signings. I mean, hey, we could fast track him up to a 75 and then call him up to send down angle and maybe get him up to an 80. That would not be bad at all. Let's see, let's do it. There's no reason not to at least there's no reason to not do the fast track portion at least looks like he's going off in the minors 346 average with seven bombs all right well let's go ahead and do this here with dubon this will probably be the last thing we do for this episode we get a lefty out there on the mound of face that's probably good all right dubon let's do it here i'm kind of surprised that Libertor isn't in the majors yet i mean we're four years into this and he was supposed to be a top prospect a couple years ago that's not a good way to start late and popping up on a fastball right down the pipe all right here we go second at bat a couple runners on let's do something here man dubon's got some numbers against lefties Oh, right down the middle again. What am I doing? How am I late on this? All right, we get one more crack at Libertor on the mound. Please throw me another fastball right down the middle. I can't miss three of them. Ah, oh, the timing was there that time, and I got too far under it. We get one more at bat here against the lefty, but if I remember right, this guy has got a funky delivery. Oh, not really. I don't know what I'm looking at there, though. We're still going to get thrown out. Oh, no, we're not. What is he doing? <laughs> I, they're counting that as a hit. I'm assuming this is going to end up as a similar situation to Outman. Going one for four with a single isn't going to get us anything. All right. Well, that's the game. So let's see. Yep, exact same thing as James Outman, man. We are just having no luck in player locks this year. I've had, I don't even know how many I've had. And in total from all of our hitting player locks, because that's all we've gotten, 
I have one plus, and that's with Vaughn. We failed with Montgomery, we failed with Luis Robert, we failed with Outman, and then we just now failed with Dubon, and that's all I can remember off the top of my head. There might have even been more. All right, well, I guess there goes that plan. He's not going to get a boost. It might pop up to call him up, but at this point, I'm not going to because he didn't get the boost. It was all kind of dependent on that. And we're out of momentum now. So hopefully we get in another game here. And we didn't lose much. We lo only lost the one. 55 and 15 is where we sit here 70 games in. But yeah, I think I'm going to call it there. I just don't get how I can hit clutch like that in the first game. A couple of clutch homers. And then as soon as it's time for a player lock, I can't do anything. Especially that Dubon one with all those fastballs down the middle. But guys, as always, if you enjoyed this one, make sure you hit that like button for me. And if you're somehow 67 episodes in and not subscribed to the channel go ahead hit subscribe for me we're getting real close to a thousand man It'd be awesome to get there before mlb 23 but that's it for me today guys thanks for watching today thanks for stopping by and i will see you next time